Welcome to Cross Experts, where we help you get the most out of your Chromebook. Today we're going to be talking about automation. No, not Google Assistant routines, which still haven't made their way to Chrome OS, but Cross Scripting for Cross Keys Pro. It's a module for Cross Keys, which enables running cloud and sandbox scripts on your Chromebook without the need for starting up the Linux or Christini container. As an example, I could take the latest news items from Wikipedia and run a cross script that will allow me to translate from English to German in just a few clicks. You can see the result in the notification, or I could even just paste it directly into whatever text field I'm in. This is the cross scripting editor. Uh, this is where we can create a simple quick script. Quick scripts are similar to bookmarklets or user scripts, which run snippets of code in the browser itself. Because of that, these always have to be run manually. They can't be automated. That prevents any security issues that might crop up. We'll create a simple quick script here, something that I've already made before just turning the current page that we're on into an editable div, like a small scratch pad. I'll call it note, save the quick script. And now on our Wikipedia page, I will just run it right here in the search bar. Now you can see we have an editable page, just a white page, but we can type right into it and you'll see it come up. Now, of course, this can't be saved uh, at least uh, not saved conventionally. We'll have to copy it if we want to keep it. It's just a little place you can use as a jam board. And those are quick scripts. Now let's talk about Pi scripts. Pi scripts are a way for Chrome OS to natively run Python by using a Wasm module in the browser. So we'll be running this Python in a sandboxed environment, meaning it can't harm or really affect our computer at all. Using familiar libraries like Beautiful Soup, we can scrape web pages like perhaps our Wikipedia page that we've been using. We'll find an unordered list on that page and we can get that page by just inputting a cross keys variable, such as the clipboard variable, which will take our recent clipboard clipping, most recent clipboard clipping, and it will use it in the script. So now, if we copy the URL of this page, we are going to get the in the news section, this unordered list here, it's going to be scraped using beautiful soup. So let's run it. And there you have the results. It's picked up. It looks like uh, the most recent news actually. So you can see it's not necessarily going to be getting what you are looking at because it's in its own environment. Uh, instead, it's pulling it directly from its instance of Wikipedia. So you can see we don't have the same news items at the top here, but if I were to refresh the page, I should get that International Criminal Court article. And there you go. Sandboxed, but still running Python as you know it. And all this is possible entirely using the power of the web. No Christini, no Linux, no Android. This is done through cross scripting for cross keys pro. Now let's get a little more technical. At times you might want to use cross scripting to replace an app that would otherwise be taking up precious hard drive space on your Chromebook. Uh, as an example, Google tasks are very powerful. Uh, but they're hidden away in either an Android app that you'd have to install from the Play Store or the Calendar web app, which you can see open here. Maybe you don't want to have this open, though. Maybe you want to manage your tasks just from any window or text field. 
And that's where cross scripting comes in. Google Apps Script can be run directly from cross scripting. And using Apps Script, I can run a list tasks function, which gives me back every single list in my Google account and all of the tasks in there. By pressing enter on one of these candidates, I can even paste all of the tasks that I have on that list into any text field. We could even create new tasks as things come up in your day-to-day -day life that you need a to-do list for. I'll add something to my cross experts list right now. Maybe call it task five, finish video. I'll even add a little note to myself that this is about the cross scripting video. Run this app script. You can see our success notification and it was created in the calendar app. So there you have it without installing Google tasks app or without needing to open the calendar, I can manage my tasks and to-do lists from cross scripting for cross keys pro. Now let's bring it all together with cross scripts, the namesake of cross scripting for cross keys pro. Cross scripts allow you to bring automated workflows to Chrome OS for the first time ever, combining the power of Google Apps Script, Python, and the native functionality of cross keys. I can create an example script right now, give it a description that makes it easier to find in the candidate window, and then pressing the add new script button takes us to the scripting editor where we see the name and description of our current script. Tells us what's going to trigger our script. In this case, we're going to say the clipboard content. And we're going to add our Wikipedia main page, meaning if that's ever in our clipboard, this script will run. We'll use our same scraping pie script for our app script. We'll use a different app script. We'll use this create news list. And we are going to feed that the last result, or in other words, what the pie script just finished scraping. Let's add a step. We want this in our clipboard. We'll add another step so that a notification is created once, once this runs. And that looks good. Now we could change our trigger step to be a time interval in minutes or an alarm, whatever you would want so that it's automated to match your chase, but this is good for our use case. Looking at our tasks, you can see we only have these two lists. Our cross script should create a new list and it should be populated with our in the news. So we'll copy this and once we copy this, the automation should begin to run. You can see we get the success notification as well as the automation response. And if we paste, all of those news items were added to our clipboard. A new task list was created and each news item from Wikipedia was added as its own task. Now you could automate something like that to run not just from the link, but you could automate it to run at the beginning of the day so that you have all of your news items ready for you. And that's going to do it for this video. Cross scripting for cross keys pro is currently in alpha. So if you run into any bugs or problems, which I'm sure you will, please let us know on all of our support channels. The cross scripting module is a pro feature, meaning it's paid for, but it works right alongside the free and powerful features found in the Quick Link, Clipboard, and Snippets modules that we've demonstrated in other videos. If you're interested in learning more about CrossKeys, check out our earlier videos and visit our website at crossexperts.com. And stay tuned for more videos and articles where we help you get the most out of your Chromebook.